Hi, welcome. We are still on Qtile. I've just made a new package for it. And um, we've also made this, this new kind of menu, which is nothing really. It's just uh, changing the Qtile code so that awesome icons into text. That's it. So what controls this menu? Here are three or four lines. And that's these lines, these group things here. So instead of an uh, an icon we have here this web and edit etc so let's get this update in and you'll see what I've changed in the meantime so updating my system you've always to think ahead in the sense that when a Qtile git config comes in it's gonna be written in a particular place etc scale config Qtile so when we are executing the scale command it's going to overwrite everything that you have made, that you have created. So if you say, no, I would like to have a uh, reference to what I've done, like, like you see I've done here, it seems as well. So if you want to have some references, then you need to do Control C, Control V. And you say, okay, this was my Q tile. This is mine. It's whatever I changed, it's, it's in here. Okay, so what you are, you, what we are copy pasting now, scale, enter is going to be changing this code in here so in a few moments time you'll see that this is changed oh it is already changed so this is what we um, have provided with a new package and you can go check it out in the the files here so if you want to see what's the new package bringing i always say use the power of melt so right mouse click compare and compare the system super f full screen everything is the same except this guy this guy is different and i changed some extra icons so these icons were already there and i've added this particular menu now um, that we can add it's just a hashtag away put the hashtag here delete it here great and I always also set okay it doesn't need to be monotol everywhere workspace one monotol workspace two matrix Workspace 3, Monotol, PSP, Look, and 4, etc. So you can change it up any way you see fit, and that's why it's changed. So you see that it is possible to change it. So Super F, I'm out of it here. So that's what changed, that's it. Super Q is quitting this thing, and we can quit this one as well. What's interesting maybe as well is the command backup scale, so the alias backup scale. To check that out now that's one thing so we can actually change these elements and let's uh, do this in this video as well so that's included in the article so this is something you can do and then you delete this one and you delete that one and save it again super shift or it and there you go you have now this element for me for my eyes this is great it's uh, a big font but if you say, no, it's a little bit too big, Eric, and I'd rather have it for 12, then you just change it and you have something a little bit smaller in here. I know it says fonts awesome because of the, the icons. I'm not gonna change that. You see, it's okay. But here it is, font not a sound, sound, so you just need to copy paste it over or type it over. And then we have this. And well, I don't see much difference anyway. So it's probably going to rely on not a sans anyway no don't see any difference really so don't no need to do this change but the font size may be something you'd like as well all right so that's uh, a new config for you guys a new way to have another look on Qtile and you can keep on changing it you can make your own menus your own names because maybe you don't want to have VB here but you want to have something for Android or you want to have uh, something for I don't know what kind of projects you like. All right, enjoy Qtile.